Hello, my name is Officer Ryan Kelly with the Santa Barbara Harbor Patrol. Thank you for attending the Conception Memorial Commemoration. On September 2nd, 2019, one year ago today, my partner, Officer Carl Halmachek, and I responded to the Conception dive boat fire off the coast of Santa Cruz Island. It would turn out to be the most tragic call of our careers. On behalf of the city of Santa Barbara, I would like to let you know that our thoughts and prayers are with you on this challenging day. I'm here at the end of the Santa Barbara breakwater at our Lost at Sea Memorial to unveil a plaque commemorating those lost in this terrible tragedy. This morning, we will hear from Suzanne Grimacy with the Santa Barbara County Department of Behavioral Wellness, Santa Barbara Mayor Kathy Murillo, and Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown. As a reminder, this memorial is open to the public every day as a place to remember and celebrate the lives of those lost at sea. Today marks the one year anniversary of the Conception Dive Boat Fire Tragedy. It's a day that I remember very, very well, and I know that I'm not alone in feeling the impact. But those who have especially felt the impact are the families and the loved ones of those aboard the Conception. I remember meeting this amazing group of people the first day that the local assistance center was opened and each day that followed as they spent the days together leading up to the vigil at Chase Palm Park. And this group of people is absolutely amazing. They supported each other. They spent every day sharing stories and compassion and it was an amazing process to watch. I would like to speak for a moment directly to the families. Over the last year, I am sure that you have had days that you didn't think that you could make it through, and yet you did. And I'm sure over the last year, you've had days where the pain has been so unimaginable, you didn't think that it would ever end. And maybe for some, you found that in your hearts, there's room enough to hold on to that pain, as well as the love and the memories where they can all stay locked in indefinitely. Today will be a hard day. You may feel reactions very similar or the same as what you felt this day last year. And that's normal and it's okay. Take this day one step at a time, just as you did last year. Breathe, show support to others, connect with others, share stories. Cherish the memories that you have of your loved ones, because those are yours to keep forever. And don't forget how far you have come. You are all so, so strong. You have developed a strength that is beyond words. And for our Santa Barbara community as a whole, where this tragedy fell on the heels of others that followed so closely behind, I thank you so much for the honor of spending today with you and remembering the memories of last year on this day. Thank you. On behalf of the city of Santa Barbara and all of our residents, I offer support, hope, and strength to everyone remembering their loved ones at this anniversary. And Santa Barbara herself offers natural beauty and a welcoming shoreline as a place to remember and heal. May you find peace. Hello, I'm Santa Barbara County Sheriff and Coroner Bill Brown. A year has transpired since the unimaginable tragedy that brought us together then and brings us together yet again today. A year since 34 precious people died in one terrible event. Indeed, the Conception Fire catastrophe was the largest loss of life in a single incident in Santa Barbara County's 170-year history, the worst maritime disaster in California since 1865, and the deadliest in the United States since 1989. The 34 men and women who were drawn together on that dive boat were a cross-section of humanity. Younger, older, and in between, they were people of different races and origins, white, Hispanic, and Asian. Most lived in California, but some were from Arizona, China, Singapore, and India. They were scientists, engineers, athletes, explorers, immigrants, CEOs, high school students, a nutritionist, biologists, managers, a hairdresser 
a photographer, a marine conservationist, a venture capitalist, a motion picture visual effects designer, a dentist, financial professionals, a dive instructor, website experts, a physician, an emergency room nurse, a nurse practitioner, and a crew member with a passion for the sea. Very different people of varied backgrounds who are united by their mutual sense of adventure and love of the ocean. I know that nothing said can alleviate the profound feelings of pain and loss that have been experienced by the family members and friends of those who died. My only hope is that you have been able to achieve some small measure of comfort knowing that your loved ones died doing something that they loved, participating in an expedition to experience the camaraderie of scuba diving and bearing witness to the extraordinary beauty and wonder of life under the sea in one of the world's most picturesque places. As we reflect on those who perished a year ago, let us not ask God why these 34 bright, vibrant, beautiful, handsome, clever, funny, daring, talented, and accomplished people were taken from us. Let us instead thank God for sharing them with us. I also want to take a moment to thank the extraordinary team of teams that came together to respond to this terrible tragedy. First, the first responders, the United States Coast Guard, Ventura County Fire Department, Santa Barbara Harbor Patrol, Channel Watch, and private mariners who were involved in the initial response to the desperate call for help early that fateful morning. Captain Monica Rochester, who ably and compassionately oversaw and led the Coast Guard team's rescue and recovery efforts, retired this year and has moved from the area. But I know that if she were here, she would join me in extending condolences to the loved ones and expressing the tremendous pride she had in her amazing crew. When it became sadly apparent that there could be no survivors among the conceptions missing, we switched from a search and rescue effort to an unprecedented and difficult recovery operation. I want to thank the Resolute Divers and their dedicated support staff who worked so hard underwater, from boats on the surface, and from helicopters in the air. They came from near and far to help us find and recover the victims. They were members of the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office, the San Luis Obispo Sheriff's Office, the Ventura Sheriff's Department, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the Orange County Sheriff's Department, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Los Angeles Port Police, the Long Beach Police Department, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, the National Park Service, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency. Thanks to their efforts, all of the victims were recovered. Captain Rochester told me that this was the only time in her 30-plus year Coast Guard career that she had been involved in a multiple fatal casualty marine accident where all of the victims were recovered. Thanks to the determination of the divers and those who supported them, no one who died aboard the Conception was left behind. I want to thank my incredible coroner's staff and their colleagues from the Sacramento County Coroner's Office who worked indefatigably throughout the operation to care for the dead with respect, to determine the cause and manner of their death, and to identify their remains through a rapid DNA process that was brand new to us at the time. Thanks to them, the victims were all swiftly and positively identified and their bodies returned to their families. Thank you also is due to other members of our county team, especially those from the Department of Behavioral Wellness, the District Attorney's Victim Witness Program, and the volunteer chaplains whose collective caring for the family members was second to none. I witnessed firsthand how considerate and compassionate they were and how much the family members appreciated what they did for them during the darkest hours. I want to thank the investigators from a host of organizations, the Coast Guard Investigative Service, the FBI, the National Transportation Safety Board, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office, the Santa Barbara County Fire Department, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. 
I also want to acknowledge and thank the salvage crews who refloated the conception and recovered valuable evidence from the ocean floor. Many of the men and women from the investigative teams are still working meticulously on this complex case in conjunction with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Lastly, I want to thank the Santa Barbara community as a whole for coming together and organizing memorial services then and now to honor the victims, for supporting us, and for reaching out and showing such generosity, hospitality, and love for the families. The collective actions of these people and organizations brought understanding, comfort, and hope to so many. You'll notice that I didn't say closure because I don't believe there is such a thing. We never close the books on someone we love. And while time may dull the pain of their loss, it will never erase them from our memory. I also want to say that the 34 did not die in vain. As a direct result of their loss, Small vessel safety regulations and boating practices have already changed. Safer and better practices have become the norm, and other lives will be saved as a result. It has been said that those who die are never really gone as long as someone remembers them. Let me assure the loved ones who are watching today that those of us who worked to deal with this disaster will never forget those who were taken from you on that fateful day. And we're not the only ones. A red and white diver's flag left at a makeshift memorial shortly after the disaster proved that the diving community will not forget them either. On that flag, which signals that divers are in the water, were written the following words. Fair winds and following seas will remember you on every dive. And so it is that their spirits live on. Thank you for watching. May God bless, comfort, and strengthen each and every one of you. Lisa Fiedler. Andrew Fritz Adrian Dahoud Fritz Sunil Sandhu Vernisa June Sasan Carolyn Annette McLaughlin Justin Dignam Incredible husband, father, and friend Raymond Scott Chan Kendra Moore Chan Michael Storm Quidisol. Nicole Storm Solano Quidisol. Evan Michael Quidisol. Angela Rose. Solano quit a song. Carol Diane Adamick, Steve Salika, and Tia Adamick Salika. Berenice Felipe. Sanjiri Satish Diopajari. Cal Stube. Nirmal. Ali Kurtz. Dr. Ted Strom.
by Davy Davy Campbell Williams. Way Tan. Shang Lin. Yulia Krashenaya. Dan Garcia. Christina Olin Dinstad. Charles Chuck McElvain. J.P. Arbelda. Christian Takbon. Patricia Beitzinger. Neil Boltz. Yuko Hatano. Mary Beth Guinea. We will now unveil the plaque. 